Welcome back to my channel and for those that are new to my channel my name is Brie Monet make sure you like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell for any videos that I post but before we get into the video I just want to give a quick shout out to Gate City that is what I'm wearing let me move my hair that's what I'm wearing um make sure you go and check them out I own literally I think two crew necks and then two other uh, shirts, but they are so cute. And they also have Aggie stuff, they have Eagle stuff. So I would just go and check them out. So today's video is gonna be about my sophomore year of college. It feels like I was just a freshman. That's what it feels like. So time flies, like it's nothing. I did this on purpose. I didn't wanna post my sophomore year update until after decision day because I didn't want anybody to look at this video and be like, well, she went through a couple things that's not really, you know, so I don't wanna go. No, going to Bennett is probably the best decision I've ever made in my life. And I will always tell somebody that even though I may have gotten frustrated, I may have said, I don't wanna be here a couple times my freshman year, Bennett is the best place that I have could have ever went to. I had a, I believe I had a 3.5 and my SAT was not the greatest. And when I applied to Rutgers, Rutgers is, was my dream school. And I don't, I believe I didn't get into Rutgers. Um, then I applied to A&T, they wanted me to do math again and Y'all, I don't know about you, but I can't do math to save my life. So I was like, mm, <laughs> this is going to be really bad if all these other colleges want me to do the same thing. Yes, I've been accepting the colleges, but Bennett gave me a full ride. And with that being said, I did not have to worry about paying for my freshman year. I literally got a free education for my freshman year that took a load off of me rather than paying all four years at another school and have to worry about doing a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, I would never sit here and be like, I regret going to Bennett. There are some things that I wish I would have changed freshman year, but I will never regret going to Bennett. And when you are thinking about going to college or applying to a college, you need to do your own research on the college. I know it's gonna be difficult, especially with COVID-19 happening. This is what I did. Before I went to Bennett, I talked to girls that were sophomores and up. I didn't really wanna to talk to the freshmen that were there. Reason being is because when you're a freshman, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of changes, and it can make you feel like you don't wanna be there. And it's gonna make them feel like, oh, I don't wanna be here, she feel like that? No. Um. Nothing really happened with my... I'm so sorry. So nothing really happened with my sophomore year. It was just a lot of things that test my patience. Um, but nothing... I was chilling, basically. This video is probably going to be a lot about what college or has taught me and how I've grown because... If it was old Brianna, mm, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I was more into my academics and just basically because fresh fresh woman year kind of threw me off, um, especially not being with, not being at home, um, not really having the greatest people around me. And um, yeah, I felt alone. So hmm. um, freshman year, I could have done better, especially because um, I took a break for like two weeks because my granddad had died and that just, it, it threw me off and there's a whole bunch of things going on. So like, I know I could have done better, but there are some things that have happened. So I can't always put that on me, but I, I knew from jump, like sophomore year, oh yeah, I'm making sure my GPA is right. So for the first couple of weeks, it was fun. And then there started to be drama and I felt so uncomfortable. And I didn't want to go to my room anymore. Basically, I tried to find little things to do. So my boyfriend goes to A&T, as you guys know. Um, so I would just go hang out with him and then he would have his friends. And then um, I made friends with one of his friends. 
and then you know I just had my own little separate life from Bennett because I just felt like me being on campus it was always something like I always came in a room something happens they would just be like I don't want to be on campus anymore because everything was happening I tried to stay positive and basically um just stay away from it um because I knew what I came here to do at the end of the day was to get my degree and I can't do any of that if there are certain things that are interrupting my focus anything that is not in my tunnel vision it has to go it, it just has to be moved to the side and pushed away I just felt like my emotional intelligence was being tested just because I learned how to handle disrespect, but I learned how not to respond to disrespect. Reason being is because freshman year, I used to feel like anytime anybody used to say anything to me, I'm going off. Like you barking, I'm a bite. We two different people. I'm the type of person now where I don't have to respond to nothing. Um, especially for sophomore year. Sophomore year, I had to watch all of my other friends from back home, they recapped their, uh, their sophomore year and I couldn't do that because I just felt like all I had at the time was to go to the CAF, um, go to my dorm and then, you know, go to class and just do it all over again. Uh, don't get me wrong, Bennett does have um, activities on campus. I was part of the dance team, um, freshman year, I was part of the cheerleading team. So we have stuff on campus. Just at that time, I was not in the right mental space. So all I wanted to focus on was school. And that's one thing I had to learn. People are gonna change up on you. People are going through some stuff. So sometimes they're going to bring it off on you, but not everybody is your friend. Some people are acquaintances. So there are gonna be some cool people that you meet, but you need to understand how to distinguish them. Freshman year, um, I didn't know how to distinguish that. I was just trying to make as many friends as I could because I felt alone. I had a group of friends and they left they all went to different colleges and i stayed so i just felt lonely like i didn't have anybody to hang out with that was my social the only thing that i did was probably like going out wise was literally going to i think i went to a club yeah i went to a club and then i was at my first house party and that was it oh i went to Bennett's gym jam but yeah, that was, that was it. So that was basically my social life. There was one problem that I had. So was I coming back for second semester? It was something in between then. I was coming back and I had to register. I had to go through this whole process of trying to register. And I was emailing the financial aid back and forth. And I remember just being so worried. I was like, wow, if I cannot come back to school, I'm gonna be so pissed. Um, and then one of my financial aid, um, my financial aid advisor, he looked at my um, GPA and he said, give me a minute. And y'all, when I tell you, he said, we gonna get you back. And he did whatever he did to make it work. They simply looked at my GPA and said, we got you. Y'all, I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry. No other college was gonna do that for me. When it came to my classes, I had this one particular teacher. Y'all, I ain't never had a fight for my papers back before, ever. I had this one specific teacher and I was like, how are you gonna have a test and I'm not getting my papers back? Like, I'm not understanding. And they would just be like, where's your book? If you don't get your book by this certain time, you're gonna fail the class. And I'm just like, oh. You one of those teachers. Like, let me tell you something. Bennett has really good teachers. These teachers, I've never seen anything like before. These teachers really care. Like, they care about their students. They care to take time to know about their students. They care to know, like, if literally, if I'm having a bad day, my teacher will know. Like, they can see it all over my face and they'll pull me to the side and they'll be like, what's wrong? And they'll actually talk to me. Especially when my granddad died, they could see it all over my face and my teachers understood. And especially within those two weeks, I didn't feel like coming back to campus because I didn't feel like talking to nobody. I was depressed, but my teachers understood that and they kept in contact with me. That's the thing that blows my mind because I hear at other colleges, like these teachers do not care. And I'm just like, well, my teacher asked me the other day that I want food. So, I mean, 
But yeah, when I had this first teacher and she was just like being rude and whatnot, I was like, mm. Mm -mm. that's the only time I ever had to fight for my grade. And I felt some type of way. Cause I'm like, I'm a good student and I don't ever talk back to you because some of the things that you be saying a little, huh. So what I did is I stayed and I helped her clean up lab because I know nobody else was going to do it. And she was still rude after that, but I did it. So, yeah. But academic wise, I didn't really have any problems. Like I said, y'all, my sophomore year was not, nothing really happened. <laughs> like I got what I wanted and I actually got my GPA up. I just ended my last class yesterday. Was it yesterday or no, this morning, it feels like yesterday. But yeah, I just ended my last class and I am officially a junior. I'm a junior. I'm a junior. So yeah, basically that was just my sophomore update kind of in a way. But um, yeah, I bro, like I had a boring sophomore year. I am thinking about transferring. Um, I have been accepted into the college that I am thinking about transferring to because they have a program for my career. I was so afraid that people are going to be like, oh, she's leaving. That means I don't need to go to Bennett because she's leaving. Another person left. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I can't stress enough how much Bennett has helped me. The love that Bennett gets and the love that Bennett gives is something that is unspeakable. And I'm just glad that I've gotten the chance to have two years and if not more, if I do decide. I have no regrets going to Bennett. I love Bennett with all my heart. So don't think just because I'm thinking about transferring like it's a bad school it's not a bad school if anything it's a great it was a great start for me a great start for me I'm still debating if I'm transferring or not um I just don't want to pass up on opportunities so yeah that's basically all I went through for my sophomore year wasn't really anything <laughs> but thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and turn on that notification bell and I will see you guys all in my next video that you